No, 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 no. Shh. Rest well, my sweet prince. Thunderthighs, what the F are you doing? He's got to be awake. Ugh, not this freaking jabroni. Actually, what he needs is sleep, Reese's. You're saying Reese's? You uncultured swine. It's Reese's. And what are you going to do? Give it to him while he's sleeping, bro? Fissing? That is exactly what I plan to do. And you have the audacity to call me uncultured swine. But you's never had sleep Reese's before. Open up, big fella. Let the sweet release of chocolate peanut buttery goodness wash over you. <coughs> Oh, is this a Reese's? Good morning, losers. I know what you're thinking. Derek, the sun seems a little higher in the sky. Did you not wake up with your alarm? How dare you assume I didn't? Actually, I did. And it's kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. So Wednesdays will be kind of a, a rest day. Not necessarily a rest day. We're still going to go to the gym. Uh, we're going to do back and abs. Still going to do my morning walks. But what I found through my other experiences in trying to lose this weight, and even successfully having lost the weight, is you have to find balance. You serve no one when you just try and push so hard that the freaking wheels fall off. In this 50 days, I've built in a time where, yeah, I'm gonna get to sleep in a little bit. What I found is that if it feels like you're working for your fitness, it's easier to quit. But if you make it work for you, it's much easier to build sustainable habits and put it into your life in a way that you can enjoy and again, that you can do long-term. So something I want you guys to just take into consideration and I know I've mentioned it already the last couple days, but I cannot stress enough the importance of small, achievable daily goals. The multiple times I've been through this process, if it's taught me anything, is that it's very easy to get lost in the big picture. Because I'm gonna do this for 50 days, and here's what's gonna be difficult. I'm still gonna look in the mirror and see a fat guy. I might lose 25, 30 pounds and still be categorically 150 pounds overweight, still morbidly obese. It's hard to do that and not feel dejected. It's hard to do that, to put in as much effort as I, I will and still see the goalpost so far down the road. Focus on each and every single day because otherwise, You'll be relying on old habits, your current lifestyle, every, everything that you have going on are forces that will be working against you. Take the time now to find balance and look for ways to create longevity. I'm a big advocate. I, I preach and I practice what I preach. Small, daily, achievable goals with like a 100% success rate. So that's the takeaway for today, guys. Yeah, it is a little later. I didn't sleep in. I woke up to my alarm that I scheduled a little later. I really hope you'll make a commitment to yourself to go out and do something that's gonna make you feel better, make you be a better version of yourself, and that's something you'll be able to do sustainably towards being that person you really wanna be long-term.
Hey losers, on our way to the gym again. This is day number, what is this babe? Day number three? Yeah. Day number three of 50. Midweek just feels like a good day to have more of a rest and recovery, uh, work on our core a little bit. And then Thursday, Friday, we'll go back in and, and continue on our program and keep moving some weight. So overall, not as sore as I thought I would be. Uh, we hit legs pretty hard and actually feel pretty good. So intrigued to see how it goes tomorrow, but for right now, feeling good. I'm gonna go get this knocked out. It's gonna be a good night. Try and hit that 30 minute mark for my solid state cardio and then go in and get some core work done. So. As I was scanning in tonight, I noticed I still had my Granite Witness little barcode. So figured it would be good to uh, ceremoniously scrub this as we celebrate day three here at the gym. And I'm loving it here. So <laughs> suck it, Granite Witness. Bloop. Oh, guys, I got one of these things that stretches your back. You gotta try it. I tried it on workload 10, and I'm gonna try and get 20 minutes. This is a completely different workout. I'm actually having to use my arms to propel the machine. My legs weren't strong enough. But we passed 20 minutes, so let's go 21. Kinda of feels like I need to barf. Let's grind it out. Push it for the last 10. Oh. That's a trip. That's arguably one of the best workouts I've had in a long time. Whew. 21 minutes. Oh my gosh. Oh, good workout for today. I really hope you guys commit to doing something for yourselves. Take that step. Get out, go for a walk. Do something. It's so worth it. This is day three. I'm starting to pick up a little bit of momentum. But first, that first initial step, you just got to get over that hump. Make that commitment to yourself. I promise you won't regret it. All right, guys, that's a wrap for today's workout. I ended up doing <laughs> much more of a full body workout with my cardio than I expected. So I, I have this really bad habit. I jump on that machine and I just go with whatever the settings are. So unbeknownst to me, it was on 10. And I, I think you guys have noticed previously, I would never use the arm pumpers. I would just do the legs. I had to, it was that difficult. So it was set to 10. And as I started going, <laughs> I threw my head back and I told wifey, I was like, this is on 10. And rather than stop and start all over again, because I'd already committed, I mean, it'd only been like 45 seconds, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just get my arms going, because it was it was so hard, It was I couldn't even push it with my legs. Of course, my legs were a little tired, but ended up uh, incorporating the arms and got one heck of a workout. Feeling a lot better all around, mentally, physically, starting to, to build some momentum. This first week is definitely hard to push through, but like I said, once you get over that hump, you make that initial first step, 
you just let some of the momentum do the work and focus on those small daily goals. I promise there's so much value in that. Otherwise, you will get lost in the sauce. I have 250 pounds to lose around that much. That's not going to happen overnight. Don't get overwhelmed. Stay focused. Put your energy into that next day, into that next workout, into that next meal, and then celebrate those things. There's so much value in that, I promise. Anyways, guys, if you enjoy the content, please subscribe. Make sure you put on the bell so you can get notifications when new videos are up. For those of you that take the time to reach out and comment every day, I want you to know when I get in my head a little bit or things get difficult and it feels like I shouldn't upload or I should just kind of throw in the towel, it really is what keeps me going on my more difficult days. I didn't anticipate YouTube to be so difficult mentally. I love, you know, shooting the content, editing the content. I have a lot of fun doing that stuff. Didn't realize how draining it would be mentally. So you guys keep me going. You put the tank back on full and I really hope you guys know just how much I love and appreciate you. It's gonna be a wrap for today, guys. I love you so much with all my heart, for real. Go out and do something great. You're worth it. Have you ever been so close to your dreams to come